Good morning ladies and gentlemen, I am MZ69 and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be talking and looking at the K91. So it has, again, it's arrived in uh, stores. At the time of making this video, I'm not sure how much gold or how much money it costs. I just know it's coming and I'm probably recording this like two weeks or nearly two weeks before it's actually due. So I have no idea what what is coming how it's coming i just know it's coming uh, whether it's for gold or money i i just don't know um so the k91 it is a tier 9 um american not some american uh ussr uh, heavy tank and it's an auto loader uh, and it's quite a nice tank i do enjoy this tank it is very good the armor is okay it's very troll uh, the gun's okay the dpm's okay for an auto loader, you're looking at 2,424 dpm. Now that's higher than the ST uh, ST1. Uh, it's a bit lower than the ISA. Uh, the ISA is 2,500. So for an auto loader, the dpm is actually really really good. Uh, the penetration is 248, and again compare that to the ST and the ISA, they are 258. So it, a little bit less on the penetration. It has 310 alpha. Um, which is on the lower side, it's, sometimes you don't hit 300, like a lot of the times you hit 230, 240, 250, so that can affect the DPM quite massively. Uh, the rate of fire is 7.82, and that is a 15.9 seconds uh, clip reload, which isn't so bad. Uh, it's 100 millimeter, uh, shell velocity is really, really good at 1535. Now, Compare that to the ST, which is 940, the same as the ISA. So shelf velocity is very, very good. Aim time 2.04, again, very, very good. Compare that to the two heavies, it's, they are 2.63. And the dispersion is very good at 0.319. And again, compare that to the heavies, they are, they are 0.344. It also has 7 degrees of gun depression and top speed of 40 kilometers per hour so a nice tank stat wise it's very good it uh, plays very good uh, the armor is as i've said the 120 millimeter on the hull uh, it has got 100 millimeter on the side and the rear uh, which is very good and the turret is 220 with 140 on the side and 120 on the rear so looking at all the stats it's it's a very good tank and i don't play it that often um literally i'm only playing it for, for the footage uh, but I tested this tank uh, way back when it first come and even when I tested it, it I enjoyed it I really did enjoy it and that's why I bought it it has been for sale now a few times I think it first come in the crates maybe uh, and then I bought it for gold so it has been for sale for a few times so I'm assuming that this is like the third or fourth time it's been for sale and I'm assuming that it is going to be cheaper than it once was so bearing in mind it is a tier 9 so i'm i'm guessing around 14 15k gold that's just a guess it might be absolutely wrong and, and as i've said by the time you be watching this video it will be in stores so that battle i've just had was against tier 10 and we managed to easily get 3k damage we managed to easily pen a mouse frontally um the speed as you can see here this is a tier 8 battle, so we have flanked around, and with it being an auto loader, you can play it in all different, uh, you can play it with the mediums, you can play it with the heavies, you can go hold down, there, there's a variety to play this tank, um, as long as you've got cover, because as I've said, it's a it's an auto loader, so you have got that big 15 second reload, so in positions like this, nice shot there, on the ST with my teammate shooting him we're going to get one more and we do bounce and we are getting shot from the right and we're going to get one more into him and we're going to back up around the corner so I have got a couple of my teammates behind me so if I can pull around this corner we do get a nice bounce and then the ST he's now trying to get away but he is just too far and there's just no point he can't go anywhere so we get one shot into him we are going to get one more into him uh, he does um, hit us we do block uh, so we blocked 1200 damage so far which is not so bad we've got 1309 hit points left 
So we'd have around 100 hit points left if we wouldn't to bounce uh, them shots. So now we are going to push the IS-3. We're going to get one shot into him. Uh, we're not actually the team behind me. They do take him out. So we are now going to focus on the AT-15. So we're going to get one shot into the hatch. Then I'm thinking, like, why aim for the hatch when just easily penable? Easily penable, literally all over the front of that AT. So we're going to get our final shot into him and then the IS-8 is going to clear him. We're going to ignore the J-Panther because uh, the Tiger 2 is there. So now it's uh, a 7 versus 3. So the Motion is very low hit points. The WZ is very low hit points. And the IS-8 is pretty much, well, he is full health. So the T-30 takes out the OP, WZ. And unfortunately, I can't save the, the Louver here. The Motion does take him out, but we can get one shot into him. Um... And this is what I mean about low rolls. He's on 291 now. We're going to get a shot into the bottom plate and 281. Leave him on 10. We've got one shell left and we are able to take him out. So that is our second kill. Just a full health IS-8 to go. And it's six versus one. So we've already won the battle. 1,200 block damage, 3,400. We are going to get a couple more shots in on the IS-8. Now, we do... We don't aim, we get a nice shot there. Uh, the second shot, we shoot pretty much the exact same position and we bounce. But we do manage to get the third and final shot to take him out for our third kill. So 3.9k damage, 1200 blocks. That was only worthy of a first class, but we do make 81,000 credits. So it is not a bad uh, credit earner. It's quite a nice credit earner for tier nine. And in fact, it is quite easy to ace. You only need around 1200 uh, XP to ace it. So moving on to our third and final battle, it is, I think it's Earthski, uh, I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, I'm not sure exactly what his name is, but he is in a platoon with Killer, and this map, there is quite a few medium on the team, so there's two mediums and two light tanks, and then there's one me uh, three mediums and a light tank on the enemy team, so there is quite a lot of fast tanks, so he needs to get over... He does make a few errors uh, this battle. One there, he didn't aim properly. And now, he, because it's an auto loader, he's going to use his clip on the IS-5. But it means he's sitting on top of a hill in the open and he does get uh, a shot in return. So he does make a few vital errors uh, this battle. Um, one, it's not so much an error. It's what I think. And I'll explain that when we come. So now he can get another shot in on the IS-5. He can't get that shot. Now, again, if you look at him, he's on top of a hill. He gets that lucky bounce there. But he needed to get down a bit earlier. And he's taken a shot. And now he's going to rush in on the IS-5. To be honest, he again, he gets a lucky bounce. And he is now able to take out the IS-5. Um, but he's taken a shot that wasn't really necessary. And now you can see the mediums, they're all together. Him and the mediums are all together. They need to split up. He's going to get a shot uh, from one of the tanks uh, making his way across. You can see the Super Persian here now is getting wrecked. And he, now he is making the right move in pushing on the, the Mod 1. Um, Luva does get in the way. I don't know if he blocked him. But if, if him and... Not the Luva, sorry, RU. If him and the RU work together here, they can take this Mod 1 out very quickly. But the RU bounces and he leaves him on a one-shot. And again, the RU bounces so very bad play there from the RU they needed to take him out they are a tank down and they really needed to take that mod one out now we have the 59 pattern the RU does eventually take out the mod one but now the pattern is after him which why not he is the easier target of course he's going to go for him there's no point going for the K91 when you can just shoot him so he's now on he's on a reload 900 hit points the pattern is on 16 HP he just needs to ram him, just back up and give him a little nudge, which he's doing now, and he just needed to do that again. But he's just about to reload, but he's lost quite a few hit points. It is three on four. It's now going to be three on three, and there is a VK100 capping. So now there is just him and a VK versus three, and the VK is capping. He's almost on 90 cap points, but it does end up getting reset, and he's quite far away. You can see now... The T-49 is going to go and help his team. Now, if I was the T-49, I would have probably gone for the K-91. If he can get behind him with a heat shot in the rear, 
that is all it would have needed to take to take him out and it could have potentially been on a three on one even though the vk is an op tank full hit points three versus one can be pretty tough um but now the t49 and the leopard is a one shot there goes the leopard He's going to get one shot in on the E75. Uh, he's going to get the second. He's got one shell remaining, and he has gone for the full reload, which is exactly what I would have done. He's on 4.2k damage. He's got two kills, and he's had a really good battle. Now, the VK has taken out the T49. Now, this is what I didn't like about the replay. So, you can see there, Earthski, sorry. I don't know if I pronounced his brain uh, wrong. He's saying mine, me, please. My damage. Uh, which I don't like. I don't like that. Now, he's on two kills. There shouldn't be... Why should you have the damage? I, if you've got six kills, then yes, you can ask for the last kill. Um, but he's... And again, me... He's going to bounce, or he's, he's on a reload. This E75 isn't a great player. But fair play to the VK100. Fair play. And again there, me. Now, the VK100, he didn't have to leave him, but just watch. He's asked for the damage... And the VK has actually left him the damage. So fair play to that VK. But I don't think he had any right in asking for the damage. He, even though that does push him above 5k. Which is a great battle. And he does finish on 5k. 88,000 credits. So very good play. Uh, very good battles. And that is the K91. For sale now. Good tank if you get it. It is a, an enjoyable tank. And I'd say it's worth it. But I don't know how much it is for sale. But I hope you enjoyed the video guys. I'm Meezy. And I'll catch you soon.